opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick buzz's youtube channel and press that bell icon now we're looking ahead as i said things move from the east coast to the west coast this is game number 4 from rajkot we're moving to saurashtra it's uh, game number 4 and the series beautifully poised at 2-1 in favor of the visitors which means india on the comeback trail they need to level things and then we're in for a cracker of a decider so let's start with uh, team india zahir once you've got back to a winning position remember after losing two on the trot they kept faith now that a couple of those areas a couple of those personnel who you were thinking could they be maybe rested benched they've come up with the goods so i'll be pretty much saying this is your 11 barring injury i think so i think unless there is a force change they will not go, uh, take that route now if if at all that route had to be taken it it was for this game you know if if you if you showed that that, that faith that trust in your playing 11 and and uh, back them and uh, you've got the desired result then then you wouldn't want to change that unless uh, unless the conditions are uh, are really drastically different in in favor of seam but you already have like you know both the teams if you look at it you know they have option of using 16 overs of seam bowling and 8 overs of spin potentially so so both the teams are poised that way so i don't think even if the wicket is favoring a little bit of seam they would uh, want to continue with with the same 11 uh, hardik has not bowled today you know so that option is is up your sleeve which which can be used if if the if the wicket is uh, going to favor the seam bowling you still have 16 overs of of seam uh, available to you uh, so i think uh, from india's uh, point of view uh, the playing 11 most likely is going to remain the same uh, barring any injury uh, injury concerns but they would want to continue with the momentum which they built yeah i mean it's it's as i said if you've done it in a losing cause and you know you're keeping faith there's absolutely no reason the conditions well will be a little different little drier may have maybe in terms of the climatic conditions not quite what uh, vizag has to offer joy but nonetheless one one doesn't expect the entire surface to play so differently that you need a complete different balance in the side yeah look i i was only thinking that that hard hit that avish khan took in his right hand i mean precautionary do you drop him if there's anyone you can change it's maybe a uh, swap avish khan with somebody like an umran malik or nashdeep i'm obviously You're still in the ardeep camp i am still on the ardeep camp i just have to say because see i'll tell you one thing the reason i'm on the ardeep camp is that if you have to play umran malik it has to be coming in bowling in the middle i think umran in the beginning is a risk which might go for runs umran in the end is not a finished product might go for runs so if you have to bowl umran you have to bowl him somewhere between that 7 and 16 is where most of the overs you got to give it I think in that sense, Arshdeep is a more finished product. If you are going to replace, if you need to replace somebody who is going to open the bowling with Bhuvneshwar, but look, it all depends on the injury and what the situation with that is. It seemed to be okay, and uh, I can't see any other change. I mean, Rajkot is, I think, a little better than the pitch that it used to be. But many bowlers in the Indian domestic circuit used to sleep at night, wake up thinking of Rajkot with the start and. <laughs> Think of Cheteshwar Pujara batting for 11 hours on the other end, and then you sort of say, "Okay, it's a nightmare. I'll go back to sleep." And then they realize the pitch is the same. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the pitch plays out on Rajkot. Yeah, it certainly will be. Uh, not quite that surface. We don't know what uh, it's going to play like. And again, the beauty of a bilateral series versus the IPL is teams, both teams, even the home team, are going to a new surface every single time, which is not going to be repeated. Once you're done with that, done and dusted. move on to the new city move on to the new square south african team now this is where we have maybe a few questions to be asked obviously you're talking about the force change that happened you want it unforced as in back to quinton de kock coming in zahir also we don't have news on aiden markram but going by the standard 5 days that are generally acceptable now as covid protocol he should be available I think uh, those are the only two names they'll be discussing. You know, they their bowling has been uh, doing consistently well, uh, except for the first game. You know, they uh, they had some execution concerns and the planning tactical uh, side of things. But apart from that, you know, they've uh, they've played up well. So that is something which uh, which which they'll continue with. Uh, uh, again, uh, Maharaj and Samshi both both uh, bowled well today. uh maharaj can contribute with uh, with the bat as well you know so so they would want to continue with that uh, that kind of approach uh, two spin theory again uh, in indian conditions 
uh, will uh, would uh, they would like to uh, stick with unless Markram is available and that might change the dynamics a little bit around there. But uh, but other than that, if Quinton de Kock is fit, uh, the opening uh, dilemma which we've been talking about, the start which we've been talking about, they'll be very happy if he's fit and available. So that that, that one change uh, will definitely be on the card. But apart from that, I, I don't see any uh, changes in that camp. So just with that balance that we are seeing, it's seeming to work beautifully for both teams to be able to have those six bowlers. So if, as Zahir said, Markram is available and you want to use him with minimum of two and a maximum of maybe five, four overs, then are you thinking Markram comes in, one of the two spinners gets sacrificed and an NGD or a Marco Janssen comes in? I wouldn't mind that. To be honest, that's the only, I also look at that option that if Markram comes in and gives you some overs of spin, get in somebody else. Uh, and Gidi especially, Janssen, and I, I actually favour Janssen because he's just, just a little bit different. You know, left arm bowler gives you a different angle. He's much taller than Parnell, so he gives you a very different kind of left arm attack. Uh, and I think they see him as a long-term prospect. They see him as somebody who's going to play for straight for South Africa for a very long time. So, yeah, I'd be inclined to look at that as well. So, we've had a, we've had a turn up for events right here on Crick Buzz Live. The left arm seamer in the house has gone for Umran Malik versus Arshdeep Singh. Joy has opted for the left arm seamer in in Janssen. Uh, Zahid, are you in the Ngidi camp then if they had to take one of the fast bowlers? So I think uh, who who will, you are. Come who on. will you replace him with? That's the question. You know, if I, I feel that the bowling uh, around the South African team, they will not really uh, look to tinker with. Uh, but uh, but they will debate hard about uh, about adding another batter for sure. You know that that's something which uh, which I strongly feel. Just uh, just looking at the at the over dependence on on two or three names in the middle order, and middle order bailing the top order out or not. Uh, if if one or two uh, uh, key batters get out, like like uh, Rassi van der Dusen or David Miller, you know, Im- imagine the confidence boost, the morale boost the opposition is going to have. You know, you you feel as if the game is over. You know, you will you will. Uh, we were talking about 50-50, and you're saying, "Oh, Miller gone now." You know, you might have 70% chance India is going to win. You know, so that is the number difference which we are talking about. So that is the over dependence on individuals which they want to uh, do, they would want to address. And keeping that in mind, if Markram is fit, that will really solve those uh, those issues. Then you can sacrifice uh, a, a bowler, maybe you know, take that chance. And and still have sixth bowler in uh, in in Markram, and and look to complete the quota of overs uh, through through other other five bowlers. So you know that is uh, going to be the main concern as as far as South African uh, camp is concerned. Their uh, bowling, they are generally happy with the way they've used the tactics. Like I said, uh, Indian team was in a in a strong position halfway through the batting innings, and they still managed to pull things back. Uh, same has been the case in the previous game. So I think they, they won't go too much uh, into changing the personnel there.